So Amelia by Joni Mitchell, this is from her 1976 album Hegira, one of my favorite Joni Mitchell songs, and she has so many incredible songs and albums. And um, this is an open tuning, and uh, she's like very, you know, renowned for writing her songs in open tunings. If you click that eye up in the corner there, or the link in the description box or the first pinned comment, um, you can go to my website and I'll, I'll do an article on this song. It'll include all kinds of interesting things. Um, some really cool things about the way she tunes her guitars and her system for keeping track of everything. And uh, a bunch of links to uh, performances and whatnot. For now, let's get into this thing. So we're in open C tuning and I'll put the tuning down here. And we're gonna start like this. We're gonna start on D2 and G1. We're gonna pinch that, so our thumb and first finger. And then we hit the B string open with our second finger. But what I do is I lift off as I hit that B string. And then we move up two frets, do the same thing, so we hit the high E. And now we're gonna bar in the fifth fret and we're gonna hit the low string with our thumb and the um, D string and G string with our first and second. And now moving on, we're going to hit the A and D string. And then we're going to upstroke from the E string, our first finger. All right, and now we hit the A and the D string again. from that right we've got that suspension I just brushed that with my finger and then we've got D G E and that's a brush on that E. And 
and then we immediately go open and we hit the A string and the D string. And now we repeat it, but we're going to add a low note. So we're going to fret this chord like this at that, but we're adding our middle finger to E2. Now, if you watch Joni play live, she'll just play like an E chord and get her thumb around there. And because that chord appears here, 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 and here, right? Four different areas on the neck. So if you can do the thumb thing, great. Now, for me, the thumb thing is really, I just can't do it. So, and in this particular part of the song, you're not even going to play that note. So I'm just going to go there and there. So. And we're going to do the same thing. We're adding our thumb now to this low string. Uh, first finger D, second finger G's. And again, let go as you hit that B string. So we've got the bass. And then we move up two frets to the exact same thing except we hit the E string. And now we're going to go Okay, so we're just adding I'm just hitting that G note with my first finger and putting on that suspension, right? Which is, you know, just G, what is that? 6 and A5. And it's like uh, it's like the It's just the Keith Richards Rolling Stone type of suspension, right? But because of this tuning, we're down a string. We're, we're down this way, right? And, you know, a lot of the strumming is just kind of feel. You know, you got to listen to the track and just kind of figure out the feel of it. So... And then we're, we're going to slide up. So that's, I'm, what I did there is thumb on the A string, but you don't need to. I think on my demo I just did it all with my first finger. And try and get that last slash on the last beat of the bar, so... And then we're going to slide up three frets. And we do the exact same thing. So from that last... And now we're going to go open, and we're going to hit this chord, which is that, you know, that thing there. And you could do that, like I'm doing down here, but it you really kind of need that note. So what I do is I bar all those with that third finger. And my finger bends, so I can, I can do that easily. But if you can't, then you're going to have to try and jam all three fingers in, which is, you know, that's pretty crowded, right? So, so that's just E, A, D, and then sort of a brush on the G, B, and E strings. And then you can come back, right? And then move up two frets. And we go. Patio, go back one, and then open backstroke starting from the G string. And then
and then we're going to go and there's this fill and I just do that with my first finger so D G D brush back of the higher strings G, D, and then the A and the open E. And then what happens is, like live, she plays this a way a lot more simple, right? Live, she'll just, you know, remove that bar now and just strum here. And then down to this chord, that form, but starting on the one, two, three, fourth fret. So. And then up to the 11th. We've got that. This, this, that, I mean, that is so beautiful, right? That is just so awesome. The sound of those chords is magic. Okay, and on my demo, that's what I did. I just kind of vamped that, but I also included what they're doing on the album, and that's a lot more intricate. So in that part, she's actually going Right? There's all that arpeggiating. So it's D, G, and B strings. And then to the A. And then you bar here, you're making that chord, but we don't need that because we're not even playing it. We're just going. So, and actually when you go down, one, two, three, four, up. And then, that's G, A, and D down to that bar and then we, we go into that the last bit of the verse so that would be from here um So, <laughs> it's getting complicated. I mean, you, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you want or you're able to play. So there's no problem just doing this. And then, And that is so beautiful. Um, so from here, and you gotta, you know, it's right away. like da, da. Okay. 
So G or D G B E and then hit that G as the last note. And you'll notice that this is a little different. This this it's a little extended because in the intro it's that bar is three four, but at the end of the verse it's four four. <laughs> so to add just a little more complexity, um, and the live versions, she just plays everything three four. Okay, but on the album that bar is four four. So we're gonna go. right so that is it that's the full cycle and then that whole thing just repeats like for how many verses there are I think there's six verses six minute song right okay so there's a lot of information here and like I say you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want all right but there's certain parts that you kind of got to do like the intro you know you sort of got to get that if you want to you know make it sound authentic so let's play one intro and one verse all the way through. Let's see what happens. And of course, that um, section that I was talking about, so. You know, that would be the strumming part, but you could also go. You know, that's way more common. If you're singing, like, forget it. And I think that's why she doesn't do that live. It's just too complicated if you're trying to sing it and remember all the words and everything, right? Anyways, that's it for this one. I really, really enjoyed putting this one together. It took me all week, basically, to be able to play this somewhat fluently. And I still feel like I would need more time to really, really nail the feel of it, because to me, feel is everything when you're playing. You know, like learning the chords is always the easiest part, but it's getting the feel and the timing of your playing that really makes the difference. Anyways, I hope you enjoy playing it, and we'll talk to you next time.